After making the video last week on the unused characters in Mario Sluggers, I took a step back and realized we have a lot of unused content in Mario Sluggers. So I decided to make a video to show everything off. We have so much now. We have unused textures, unused voice lines, unused music. When a year and a half ago when I made the icebreak, the only thing we had was one unused song, and I will talk about that as well. So without further ado, let's start with the unused characters again, adding some extra detail. As mentioned last video, we found two unused Yoshis, an unused Koopa, unused Critter, and an unused Pianta in the game's code, completely unused. And we know nothing about them, but we can just guess on the color. And last time I offered a couple suggestions on what the color could be. And this time we have some nice, not really artistic renditions, but actually the texture put in the game. And we have some nice screenshots. You can see here we have orange and purple Yoshi. Those I think would be great in the game. And we have orange Toad and orange Pianta as well. And <laughs> blue Koopa. And then my favorite is pink Critter. And of course, technically black Shy Guy is an unused character as well, because you can see his name pop up in some of the mini games, but they went with Grey Shy Guy instead. Even with the characters that made it in the game, they have a lot of unused textures as well. You can see all of the textures for each character in the game's code, but not all of them are actually used. So we can start with King K. Rule. His bat has a little, his Skepter bat has a little gem on it, which is blue, uh, and like a nice teal color, but there is code in his texture map for a green gem bat, and this is loaded in here so you can see what it looks like. And I think they went with the blue because it contrasts better with his body. The next one is Petey Piranha's belly button. So in Petey Piranha's texture map, you can see he has one texture devoted to his belly button. However, you never see it in game. Uh, this is, you know, clearly meant to be from Mario Sunshine, so I don't know. Either he would always have a belly button or some animation would pop up and his belly button would activate, but it goes unused and I think it's pretty funny. Going back to the bats, Bowser Jr. actually has an unused EGAD texture, uh, and it would have looked more like it does in Mario Sunshine with a little EGAD texture below the paintbrush. Um, and you, you know, you can see that from Mars Sunshine, however, it's kind of boring and lacking the ego texture in this one. Not sure why they removed it. I think it looked good. And perhaps the weirdest texture on a character that goes unused is Lakitu's mouth. <laughs> so Lakitu never like opens his mouth or anything in this game because you rarely see him anyway, but he does have a, uh, a little texture for two textures for his mouth, these little red ones. And I think that's pretty funny. PD Piranha has some more unused assets. He has an unused bat and glove character, as you can see in his code, the boss pacoon.tpl. That's his Japanese name, which I which I like a lot. You can see he has unused uh, bat and glove elements, and of course, he just picks the ball up with his mouth um, in the actual game and bats with his leaf arm. Another set of unused textures is on the Mario Slugger story mode map. So in Wario City, there's a, a trio of signs on this lamp post that say stadium, exit, and shop. However, the texture for this includes a casino uh, direction arrow at the bottom. And so apparently there was going to be a casino in Wire City, but they removed it probably just because they didn't want gambling in the game. Another map texture is a little funky surfboard icon above the shop icon for you know the funky surf shop in DK Jungle. I think this looks really cool and uh, all of the shops in the game just say shop. So I'm not sure if they were gonna design unique icons for all of them and then just gave up, but I sort of wish they had used this. Finally for textures, we have one unused text texture and that is the time icon, uh, which was used in Superstar Baseball when you paused the game and Lakitu, uh, Lakitu said time, um, but now it just goes right to the timeout screen and there is no text icon that says time. So kind of an interesting change. Speaking of unused Lakitu voice lines, there's a couple really interesting unused ones. I just mentioned the, the time um, voice line that he doesn't use. And there's also an alternate strike voice line 
you know, they probably need a couple takes of that <laughs> because it's such a such an iconic sound and it, you know, you really had to get that right. Uh, but unfortunately, we, we know it exists, but I have not heard it. Maybe it'll pop up eventually. But the more interesting one is the dead ball voice line. So um, there exists, you know, a lot of people have ripped his, ripped Lactu's voice lines. And there's clearly one where he says dead ball. Dead ball. And as you know, all you all you sluggers, uh, trivia knowers, uh, know is that it is possible to get a dead ball in the game, though it's extremely, extremely hard and clearly not intended. So they, I guess, they just didn't assign the dead ball voice line to the actual event, even though you know there's actual text that comes up with the event. So when you get a dead ball, nothing happens, even though you were supposed to get a cool voice line like in Superstar Baseball, but it just doesn't happen. That's it's really weird. And finally, uh, as I mentioned before, we have a whole unused song that was our first finding. It is called BGM underscore Captain. And since then, we've sort of figured out it's probably meant to be a background soundtrack to when you're picking your captain. But they ditched that and decided to just go with the normal character select uh, music. But it's such a banger. I really wish they'd put it in, but... I will put it here at the end of the video for you guys to enjoy. Uh, shout out to Gino Penguin, um, who has made pretty much all of these discoveries. He is by far the best texture extraction mod or whatever you want to call that. There is so much cool stuff here. And uh, go sub to him on YouTube, follow his Twitter. They post cool slugger stuff there as well. Big shout out to him. This video would not have been possible. And we will be getting some amazing sluggers modding and stat stuff in the future this is just the start we'll be getting some amazing stuff coming next week and the week after and there will be some live streams dealing with that stuff so just wanted to put that out there and thank you for watching i'll see you next time